again, VC. Dan here, back again for another episode of Final Fury. Um, I did go to Seattle um, just a little over two weeks ago and uh, brought home several records from a few of my favorite spots there, but I haven't gotten to listen to quite all of those yet. Um, only a few of them, actually. So I'm going to save those for the next video, but I do have several new records that I have to show. Um, first being the new album from Beck, Morning Phase, which is just incredible. Um, there are, as you probably know, there's several different versions of Beck and um, his music over his career. This is the Beck that I like the most, uh, the Beck that made Sea Change in 2002. That's one of the best albums I've ever heard. It's definitely one of the most well-engineered and best-sounding albums that I've ever heard. It's so lush and expansive and gorgeous-sounding. And uh, he's definitely continued that vibe on this. Um, several songs that could almost be on that album, even. Um, similar instrument sounds and uh, large uh, reverb and room sounds. But uh, just another fantastic record, a uh, perfect companion piece to that album. Um, but definitely a great album in its own right. Uh, I, I mean, I can't say enough about it. It's just really good. It's a 10. Um, and like I said of Sea Change, this kind of album is just a music lover's dream. Like, it's... It's a universal sound to me. Uh, anyone that just really loves music, I think, would like this album and this, you know, this sound. I think it's just fantastic. So um, it's also a great vinyl pressing. Uh, the Lacquers Are Cut by Bernie Grundman, one of my favorites. Pressed at Palace USA, very good. Uh, nice, quiet, flat pressing. Uh, it is 180 gram vinyl. Uh, it comes with a nice insert as well, the lyrics. Um, at my local store is $22.99. I think it is that price on Amazon, or roughly around there. Totally worth it. Um, I highly recommend this album. Um, while I was there picking that up on Tuesday, I also saw this. Uh, this is the, I think the most recent album from Stanley Jordan, the uh, Phenom guitarist that uh, came out in the mid-80s. Um, on Blue Note, he put out several records for them. Just a fantastic jazz guitarist. Amazing finger tapping abilities. Uh, he's just great. And um, this came out in 2012. And uh, I have it digitally, and, and it's and I heard the music, and it was great. But uh, the vinyl pressing is usually around $28 or more. I thought that was a little too much. But uh, I saw this. Um, it was at a used price because it was a uh, promo copy. Uh, it's kind of the equivalent of a cutout. But uh, it was only $16. Still sealed and everything. So I thought that was totally reasonable. It's a double LP on 180 gram vinyl. Uh, sounds pretty good. Uh, great songs. Uh, a lot of covers. Um, even covers I Kissed a Girl by Katy Perry. And uh, it turned out much better than I would have even expected. It only bears resemblance to that song at a few points, actually. But uh, he's got a lot of people. It's called Friends, and he has a lot of musicians on here with him. Some of them that I recognize are Regina Carter, Charlie Hunter, Ronnie Laws, and there's a whole bunch of people here. And the, the uh, back photo is him and some of these friends, but there's actually like six or seven versions of him in there, dressed in different costumes and stuff, which is kind of cool. But uh, 16 bucks, totally worth it. Um, great album. He's still just a phenomenal guitarist. Um, he's in his 50s now. He's seems like 55. Doesn't really look it, but uh, I hope that he comes around and plays a show locally, because I'd love to see him play. Definitely. Next is the debut full-length from the band Crosses, which is stylized with these 
three crosses together. And this band is a side project of Chino, vocalist of Deftones and Team Sleep and Palms. Uh, this is another, he's been very active lately. Um, Crosses came out about two years ago with an EP. It also features Sean, the guitarist of Far, another one of my favorite bands. Um, and it's kind of, like, I would call it like electro rock. There's a, some very strong electronic elements, but there's still um, guitar and uh, organic drums and stuff. Um, some great tunes. Uh, they released two EPs, and then they released a third one at the same time as this. This full length is all of those EPs with the track listings um, mixed together to create a full length album. So I don't have any of the EPs on vinyl, so I, I definitely went ahead and got this. Uh, it's a double LP, the gatefold, all the lyrics inside. I like the uh, motif of the artwork. All of their, their singles and, and the EPs have a similar vibe. Um, it was released on two different colors, uh, white and what they call a charcoal gray, which is a gray with um, some white and black marbling which is uh, pretty cool, uh, and a custom label there. It's like that on all the sides. Um, I enjoy the album. I pretty much enjoy anything that Chino does, really, but the uh, combination of him and Sean is uh, pretty sweet to me, them being both from two of my favorite bands ever. And uh, the live drums that are recorded on this are actually from the drummer of Far as well. So. Great for fans of Deftones and Team Sleep, of course, and all that stuff. Uh, definitely a different sound, but, um, you know, familiar and cool. Uh, sounds pretty good. I think that the mastering, at least on some of the tracks, is uh, compressed to the point where there's really not much difference or no difference at all between, like, verse and chorus. Usually a chorus has a bit more punch, a bit more dynamic. But uh, on a lot of these, it's kind of the same throughout, which um, is unfortunate. But it, it's it's clear sounding, uh, definitely not bad. And uh, if you find it for twenty bucks or so, definitely get it. And uh, lastly, I hopped on a Pop Market deal. Um, I have I've only ordered from Pop Market one other time before, and uh, I just could not pass up this deal. Um, so I got that package today. And to my surprise, when it's in this huge box, it's like a pizza box size. But uh, as I moved it around a bit, uh, nothing was free floating in there. So uh, I opened it up, and to my pleasant surprise, it was totally reinforced around the edges. And the records were in here with this uh, kind of almost like a seat belt over them and these tabs here the records were sitting on those so they were not touching any edge or the, the top of the bottom they were just um, just kind of safely cradled in this thing which I thought was a sweet design um, that packaging can't be cheap but kudos to Pop Market for really going the extra mile in my opinion um, I'm sure they avoid a lot more damaged material using something like that so that was a that was cool but the deal that I got was a great one and uh, it's the first two albums from Helmet uh, Strap It On and Meantime and these are remastered reissues from ORG which I've been a big fan of they've done some great work with mostly 90s alternative rock stuff Nirvana, Failure and Helmet um, and they've done a really great job. Um, so this is on black vinyl. This one is actually, it was described as a uh, red and blue mix, but it's really kind of a just a deep purple. And you probably can't even tell now. Uh, you'd have to backlight it to really see, but even when you do, it's, uh, it's very dark, but uh, it's still cool nonetheless. 
so being that I just got them, I only listened to Strap It On so far just before I made this video, but it sounded great, and um, it was a fantastic deal. Um, somebody had posted on a message board about it, or else I wouldn't have known. Uh, and they had a coupon code for something like 10 or 12 percent off and it was free shipping so it ended up being about $25 for both of these shipped and uh, one of them retails at about $25 each so I basically buy one get one free which is a phenomenal deal I, I passed these up because um, you know I, I love helmet and I, I love these records even though their later stuff is my favorite um, I just had been putting it off for whatever reason, but it paid off because I got a killer deal on these. So that's what I have for today. Um, kind of blown my load this last couple weeks with the new records. Um, don't really, I can't really buy anymore for a while. But I do have a stack of used finds that are great that I found in Seattle. And, uh, after I list a few more of those, I will be back to show them. So thank you for watching. Uh, take care. Till next time, enjoy your music.